Hello everyone and welcome to another Lesson Picks video. Uh, today's a little bit different. Uh, we're gonna touch on one really specific subject and it's kind of a silly one um, but it's also one where I might owe some people some apologies because I've dismissed some complaints that they had um, about something and uh, I probably shouldn't have now that I, I see what they were talking about. Um, it all comes back to a problem that we get fairly often which says I can't print. So I can't print the materials I made, I can't print the visual, the visual schedules I made, how do I print? Or even how do I print a PDF file? And so when I got these I generally thought that they were confused and they would put pictures into their tray and they'd made materials uh, through maybe through the wizard but they never hit the download PDF button so I gave you know advice about that sometimes I thought maybe they put it in the tray and they never knew to run the show materials button because to me how to print a PDF should be you know computer 101 or they should be asking their help desk not not me um, but the other night I was working and I went to download a lesson fix material and I couldn't print the PDF and I realized I bet that's what all those tickets are about. So today I'm going to make a very specific video about how to print a PDF file. Um, I'm going to start by uh, bringing up a lesson picks window. I'm going to start with Internet Explorer. I don't think uh, th this is not an Internet Explorer issue. This is an Adobe Acrobat issue, at least primarily. But I'm going to walk through a few different scenarios where um, things are hard to print as PDFs and, and the biggest one is a really big bug. It's one that I think uh, Adobe owes people an apology for uh, including uh, me because I'm having to address this. It's a really bad problem. So first things first I am logged into the Lesson Picks site and I am going to go to the Sharing Center. I'm just gonna find any material that I might want to print. There's a open house scavenger hunt here. I'll click on that and then I'm going to download the PDF. Now when you download a PDF, at least the way my computer is set up, it'll open it up in a separate Acrobat window. Now yours might put it inside the page, it might pop it out. Either one of those uh, can happen. But you'll notice that I will have no problem printing this page. When I open this up, I've got a print button right here. If I click on it, it'll pop open a window and it'll say, you know, what printer do you want to print to and things like that. Um, or I can always go up here and hit file print. One thing I'm going to point out here is that on the file print button you'll see that there's a hotkey called control P. So if you forget everything else I say in this video the one thing I think everybody should learn is that in every Windows application that can print control P will pop up the the print dialog. So if I hold down my control key and I hit the P key it will actually pop open the print screen. Now. I don't think that that's the right answer for how to do this, but it is a really good thing to remember. Now, you, you probably already know that Control X copies, Control C, sorry, Control X cuts, Control C copies, and Control V pastes because you're just used to doing that. Many of you will know that Control Z undoes things, and those are kind of universal. No matter what application you're in, those work. It's the same thing with Control P. Control P will always bring you up the print dialog, and if you remember that you probably can get through this problem without learning all the rest of the stuff I'm about to go through. But let's say you're, you want to know why this is wrong and why you were stuck. Uh, I, I think I actually know the answer and I, I'll show you. So I'm going to cancel this. The other day when I opened up the PDF file, my screen didn't look like this at all. It looked, it looked like this. It was in a mode that had no buttons and no menus. And this is Acrobat, Adobe Reader, open, and my PDF file is open. I have no menus at the top. I have no button bars. I have, uh, over on the left, I have um, the thumbnails that I can see. I can look at any attachments in the file. I can look at the 3D model, which is totally useless. But there is no way in this interface to print. There's no way to print. And it's not like you can hit the Alt key and the, wind, the, the menu will pop up like other applications. It doesn't go up if, if you fly on it, if you move your mouse around, nothing pops up. There is no print interface in this application. And I'm willing to bet that this is why people were writing trouble tickets for me that seemed so silly. But if I saw this and, and I didn't 
know about control P, I wouldn't know how to print this either. Turns out there is a way to print in this environment. You can right click and hit print or you can hit the control P button. But it's silly because you've lost most of the functionality of Acrobat when you're in this mode. So let I don't know how I got into this mode and I'm sure you guys don't either but I do know how you get out of it. So the way you get out of this mode is you you go to your, your keyboard and you hit the F9 key and that will bring up the menu and the F8 key will bring up the button bar. It's the only way to do it. I've looked online it's a known issue in the Adobe forums. They've made a lot of fun of the fact that this bug's been around since 2006. We're not going to get them to fix it, so we might as well learn to adapt. Um, and I think that it's not that hard once you know the buttons you need to push. So I think this actually might explain why some of you were stuck. Um, some of you may not know where the F9 key is, so uh, let me go ahead and show you that. Uh, I found some pictures on uh, Google Images that show the F9 key. Uh, the F9 key is just above the 9 key. It is a function key. It used to have its own key, like this one, where you'd hit the F9 key. Um, if you don't have one of those, or if it looks like it's, it's yellow and it, it looks like a you need to hit something else as well. Uh, my keyboard also requires that I hit the function key uh, as well as the F9 key in order to activate it. So hit the F9 key and F8 key if you're stuck and hopefully you'll get Acrobat out of that mode. The only other issue that I've seen um, is that if you look at uh, I, if you look at um, Chrome you'll see that if you open up a PDF Sometimes it will look like this. This is not opening up a separate window into Acrobat. It's actually Chrome rendering the PDF inside of the browser. And again, there's not an easy, um, there's not an easy way to see how to print. Uh, but this is true of any web page in, in, um, in Chrome. There, there's no menu at the top and there's no print button. But this is, um, this is solvable. Uh, one is if you just move your mouse down to the bottom, it will pop up these little buttons on the side and this one all the way to the right is the print button if you click that it will bring up the uh, the print your PDF view uh, also this little box with the dashes in it here actually is your menu so this is where uh, the zoom all your settings are and also you'll find print right here I'll also notice that there's a control P next to it because just like in IE just like in Acrobat Control P will always print your file. Um, I think that's that would cover the main issues that people are seeing when they say they can't print. Um, I am very irritated that uh, we have to deal with this, but um, I hope that helps. I will be sending this video out to all of you that I've sent a, a note out saying, I didn't say you idiot, but I kind of said you idiot, just printed it, it's a PDF file. Um, I will send a note out with this video and my sincere apologies if I came across that way. Uh, for anybody else who's just having PDF problems, I hope this helps. And uh, good luck using LessonPix.